What's going on guys? As you'll see, we've got this bathroom um, ripped down to the studs. And now um, that we've got everything cleared off um, and prepped, and we got the, the tub set in here, just a, a dry fit. Um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, get the tub secure um, so that we can prep everything for the plumbing, um, get the drain and everything installed, and um, start on drywall, start building this bathroom back up. Um, but an issue that we've run into, um, that's common, um, that we've run into multiple times before, um, are the walls are not um, plumb and um, in line. So as you'll see here, um, we've got about a, just under a three or a, a quarter of an inch gap, just about all the way around, except there on the back wall. Um, and that's, that's common. That's not a big issue. Uh, the issue um, that we've got here is as you'll see, and it's, it's pretty, pretty visual from straight on. You've got, you've got this stud that is, um, right where it should be. And then you've got this middle stud where it's about three quarters of an inch back. So it is, it is way off, um, as far as, um, in line with the, the adjacent studs. So what we're going to do, um, I am basically going to, um, just tack on a new stud or a new scrap, um, that I've trimmed down and get this leveled out where it should be. Basically give us, um, a new stud to, to mount our, our backer board to, so that when we go to um, apply that curdy board, everything is nice and straight and flat and secure. Um, there's no big gaps behind it. Um, so, so yeah, that's the next step. Once we've got that done, what I'll do, go ahead and um, shim in the, the back, get everything nice and tight, and secure the tub with some um, stainless steel screws, panhead screws, and um, make sure everything is nice and level all the way around. And then we'll be ready to, to get some plumbing um, tied into this tub and we'll, uh, we'll keep chugging along. So here we go. Okay, so we got the uh, the tubs uh, secured there with the stainless steel screws. Everything shimmed in and um, nice and secure all the way around. Made sure everything was nice and level um, all the way around. And as you'll see here on the ends where the side flange um, comes down vertically, um, put in some blocking on each side. Very rarely does it does it hit right on a stud, so you usually have to put in some sort of blocking there just to secure that flange and um, to make sure that you have uh, something there to put uh, to mount your, your backer board and everything uh, nice and secure to there on that, on that lower flange. Um, so now we are ready, once, uh, um, now that that's all secure, to get some, some drain um, plumbing hooked in. Um, 
we've got the the tub drain there um, but down below in the basement luckily um, on this one everything is nice and um, accessible um, overhead down in the basement there is old inch and a half um, copper that I'm going to be taking out it's not in good shape it's kind of just all disintegrating it's it's in pretty bad shape so we're gonna we're gonna take all that out and the drain actually runs back to this um, your main vent line here so it, it don't have much um, to replace just gonna replace it with inch and a half um, PVC um, give us everything nice and new to secure there you'll see here on the back um, it's kind of just become standard now that all these shutoff valves on the supply lines if there's even shutoff valves there um, they're usually so rusted and corroded that they need um, replaced so I did that um, first thing so that I could chop all that out um, when I was doing the demo but went ahead and put new shutoffs there um, and here on the, the faucet supply lines and the um, toilet uh, water supply there so I just it's pretty much just become um, you know standard that those are going to need replaced so I just keep those on hand um, so that I have them when I do all that so uh, we'll go downstairs, get some of this uh, copper line torn out, and run some new inch and a half over so we can drop this uh, tub drain in, get all that finished up. Then we'll start um, getting some, some mixing valves wrapped in. So stay tuned. Okay, so you'll see I've got my tub drain uh, just loosely fastened in there with the um, the tub. Uh, it's not really tight and secure, so I can still move it as I need to. And I haven't sealed up around the um, on the surface of the tub underneath the drain, so I still need to do all that. But I just put it in there, so I have a rough idea of where to run this drop and tie it back in to this uh, the copper line that I've cut here. So. Um, this is, uh, our sink, our vanity drain that was previously done by somebody else. Um, I think she was having issues, um, in the past. So she had that redone not too long ago. Um, so they, they did all that and tied in new PVC. Um, so I'm just going to tie in new PVC to this, um, existing copper line, which doesn't look too bad here at the main where it connects into the vent. Um, but up here in the drain, everything was looking pretty rough so i'm just going to replace it from here on over um, so this just kind of gives me a starting point where i need to bring this quarter inch down um, and tie it into my my inch and a half pvc so
All right, so there you go. Um, we've got the tub drain there tied in with all new PVC um, just over to the old existing copper. Uh, so I just tied it into that line there. Uh, it's just still in pretty good shape. So everything is new. Um, this um, this P-trap here has the, uh, the clean out, which is nice. Um, sometimes if your, if your drain gets clogged there with hair or whatever else you normally get going down the, the tub, you can just come down here, open that out, clean it out. Um, also with this, um, P-trap and the, the, um, collar here, that kind of gives you a little wiggle room when you're getting everything set, um, that that moves. Once you get it to where you want it, tighten it down, everything is good to go. Um, on this, I used this. Fusion uh, single step. So this eliminates the um, the need for that purple primer that you're uh, that you're used to seeing on your normal two part um, PVC cement. So since you don't see purple there on all my joints, um, it is glued and everything is secure. Um, so that the OD single step is nice. Just eliminates the uh, that extra can that you got to keep around and it's worked uh, pretty well so far for me. So. Um, that's all tied in. Everything is still pretty loose. Once we get everything um, where we want it up at the tub and everything's sealed, we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. Um, let it sit. Make sure there's uh, no leaks. Should be good to go. So um, that about concludes it for the drain uh, for the tub. So we'll move on and start roughing in um, some water supply lines. Okay guys, so we are ready to hook up some um, water supply lines on this tub. So I'm going to be using, um, and I've used it multiple times in the past, it's always served me well. Um, my rough-in is a Delta multi-choice um, valve, and it is model number R10,000, um, if you were curious. But my fixtures are Delta, um, and I've used it several times in the past and it's always served me well. So I'm going to be using a combination of crimp fittings for my pecs and a push connect. So um, everything is pretty pretty straightforward with the, the Delta Multi Choice. Um, I do not have my actual fixtures yet, they haven't come in. So one thing I was reading on the spec sheet uh, for the fixtures that I ordered was that it's saying not to use pecs for your um, supply line from your rough end down to your tub spout. Um, I've always used PEX in the past and I've never had an issue, but I'm going to be using copper um, since that's what it su suggests that I use. Um, so for that, I'm just gonna be using this push connect uh, fitting down at the tub uh, spout. So we're gonna do that. But another thing, um, the, some of the Delta uh, fixtures require that you have the, the copper stub out and it wouldn't, it, I couldn't find the information on the fixtures that I ordered, whether it requires that or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that one in. And then if it does require the copper half inch stub out, then I can just go ahead and swap it out uh, with this um, shark bite fitting that's already got the copper stub out soldered in there. So that's nice. Um, used one of these one time in the past and it worked out pretty well. So um, that's the nice thing with these push connects. Um, so if I can't use my threaded iron pipe uh, that I plan to use, then I can just swap these out, put in my that copper um, stub out there, and everything will be good to go. I don't have to redo anything. So um, using a combination of the crimp um, and push connect fittings on this one. So I'll have my three crimp fittings for my uh, supply lines in and the supply line up to the shower head, and then I will have this female threaded push connect fitting down to my uh, tub spout. So everything is pretty straightforward. Um, so we're gonna get after it and see how it goes.
All right, so there we go. We got everything tied in. Um, as I was saying, on the fixture spec sheet um, for the fixtures that I ordered since I don't have them and I don't know exactly what um, requirement they have for the, the spout there for the tub, um, whether I can use the iron pipe like I um, normally do or if it has to be a, a copper stub out. Like I was saying, if it does, I can just pop this off, put the other um, push connect fitting on there that already has the copper um, stub out soldered in. Um, and it's an easy swap if you need to. Um, so that's that's what we got. We got our push connect um, shutoff valves down here that I put in. Um, going up to our um, rough in there. This is obviously the hot. Um, I just used white because that's what I had available. Um, colors doesn't necessarily matter. But um, cold obviously. And then going up to the shower head. So just make, making sure everything is centered on your drains. Um, and running plumb all the way up. Um, another spec on the uh, tub spout that I ordered said that um, that drop can't be, it had to be within, um, I think five or 18 inches. So I just dropped it 18 inches um, and we'll go with that. I like to have my um, <clears throat> handles a little bit higher, um, but still not too high where you can't reach it if you're, if you're laying in the tub and wanna adjust something. So. That's that. Um, we'll go ahead and um, turn the water on, get everything pressure tested, uh, make sure that there's no leaks or anything, and we'll we'll go from there. So let's go around here. We'll turn these on, and hopefully, water doesn't hit the uh, hit the ceiling. So. Obviously you like to, to normally have these going the same way, but with this wall and the tight quarters, I had to, to flip it. So they're kind of going opposite directions here, but as long as they shut off, it's okay in my book. So come around here, we'll check, make sure all of our connections are good. Usually the only place if we do have a leak is just this um, connection here. There's a little water coming out there at the end, but these are just hand tightened. So that's no big deal to me, but just wanted to make sure that all your crimp and push connect fittings are are good and leak free and it looks like everything is dry so um that's it for getting the delta multi-choice roughed in and next we're going to start putting on some drywall um still waiting on the curdy board i mentioned that um, putting curdy board in this shower um, so we're still waiting on that from my tile supplier, still waiting for all the tile and those supplies to come in, uh, but we're getting there. So time to clean up these walls, get ready for some drywall, and then we'll be ready for some tile, hopefully by the end of the week. So. This is all you need Be your everything Yeah, I'll be your everything Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill